Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Nish, and today we're doing a review of this microphone right here. This is the um, MXL 990, and I got it at a pawn shop for like $40. I think you can get it for around 90, 80, 100, something like that online. Uh, but it comes in a package with a lot of other things. So what you're hearing right now is this microphone right here. So this is a condenser microphone. Um, and the main key difference between this microphone and the microphone I used to use, which was the, um, the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB, is that that was a USB microphone. This is a, um, an analog microphone. So, so basically what that means is I have to buy something to power this microphone. And that would be an audio interface. So basically you can plug in the microphone and then, um, and then plug that into your computer. That's why it's called an audio interface because it takes the analog signal and converts it to a digital signal via USB and that goes into your computer. Now, the, I, th I would hope you can hear the difference. This is way, way more powerful than a st any USB microphone on the market. Even though this is an entry level condenser microphone as far as analog goes, it's still um, crazy, crazy difference in quality. I don't know why there's that many people that just settle for the the USB microphones. So, um, yeah, I'm going to probably be rolling a couple of B-roll shots of this thing as I go through, just testing out some of the camera lenses as well, trying to get really, really sharp shots in there. Um, but I would highly suggest if anyone's going into commentating and they're looking to get a microphone, I, I know it's really convenient to just spend a hundred dollars or whatever on a USB microphone, but try to find one of these cheap. I mean, these things if they work, they work. If they are like damaged, you'll definitely hear the difference. But I just picked one of these up for forty dollars, and then the the interface was pretty expensive. I think it was like two fifty. But you know that's a really big investment because I can plug two mics into it, and it'll just keep powering all the mics I go through until I get to really high end microphones, which I can't imagine will be anytime soon. So, um, I'll show some of the specs up here. This is, as I said, a really entry level microphone, but. Uh, for what I do with it, hold on, truck going by, for what I use it for, this is perfect, I, you know, I use it for live streaming, I use it for uh, this right here for commentary and stuff, and potentially for reviews in the future, it's going to be a little difficult because as you can see, I have to set up the camera and the microphone right here and talk right into it, so that's why you might see me leaning forward every now and then. Um, but you do have to get pretty crazy placement on these things, and they pick up a lot of background noise. That's a huge downside. So if you want to use one of these, you really need to be able to control the noise in your room. You're probably going to hear some echo from this and probably hear a hum in the background from my computer. I'm going to try to put a noise gate on it, but I mean, with all things, the more money you put into production tools, the more difficult it becomes in post-production. I, I, I don't want to say difficult, but more complex. So a USB microphone, people are typically just putting the USB microphone down. What is this? Another big thing about this is that you can monitor what you're saying. So that's pretty big. Everyone in the industry will typically, you know, voice actors and stuff. And I think newscasters too. They use hardware that allows them to monitor what they're saying as they say it with no typically no latency so right now i can hear myself talking in my headphones and that's how everyone does it just so you can monitor you know what you sound like how loud you're talking you know if you're close enough to the microphone if you're far enough away from the microphone it really really helps you monitor exactly what you're doing um man, i've been talking for like seven minutes that's insane but yeah so I like this microphone. I think it sounds great. Let me know what you think. Um, this hasn't been exactly a technical review, but this is just kind of a uh, introduction to it. And I'll go into more details as we go along and maybe show you guys some other options in the similar price range. I know it's a little much to go out and get an audio interface. It's $250, but you don't have to spend that much. I would just because you really want to buy a solid interface because if you buy a cheap one, you're going to end up replacing it anyway because it's going to break or you want a higher quality one later down the road. So in a lot of cases, I do suggest just buying the one you want to waiting and getting 
the, you know, the high quality one on abs unless you absolutely need to have one at that moment in time. So this has been a introduction to the MXL 990. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you next time.